Hey, hey, everybody. Question addressed this way. We believe in the resurrection of the body, right? We say it in the creeds. Do we then oppose cremation? You know, someone uh, enters the church triumphant, and there's kind of there's a couple options you can do, right? Uh, the main one you always see is they are at the funeral home, and then they put uh, chemicals in the body to preserve the body, because usually if you just leave the body alone, it starts decomposing, you know? So you don't want that in an open casket. Or maybe you do. Maybe, maybe you were just really twisted in life, and you really want to mess with people, you know, after you're gone. So when little Jimmy opens the casket, ah, you know, something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I'm, a, I'm going for the Henry VIII option. I'm going to gain like 400 pounds. They'll drop me. It'll be messy. It'll be a fun time. So that's off topic. But that's what happens, right? You, you get the chemicals in the body. They do the makeup. They do the hair. They, they glue the mouth shut because you don't want a mouth opening at the viewing, right? The eyes are glued shut. This is kind of weird. Well, how are we treating the body here? Is it really about what we had here? Because the bodily resurrection is we're going to have glorified body. Now, I'm not saying everyone's going to look like Idris Elba. That'd be pretty cool, though. You know, all of us looking like Heimdall. Heimdall? Yeah, Heimdall. The thing is, that's not what it means. It means we are going to all be in the image of Christ, his glorified, resurrected body. This flesh will live unto eternity without sin in a glorified state. It's going to be awesome. So are we? why are we opposed to cremation? Because you hear that at churches. Well, bury him in the ground, no cremation. Usually this is because the church is opposed to pagan rituals. Like if someone comes to me and says, Pastor, we're going to cremate, and it's not to save money, but this is their wish, and we're going to put their ashes around town in certain places. Well, that's kind of like worshiping the earth, isn't it? Putting them, that, that's what's permanent. Well, no, at, on the last day, this earth will be gone and a new heavens, and new earth will be here. So that body isn't going to be there forever. It's going to be collected all that ash and dust, because that's what we return to, right? Thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. You return to that. Be it cremated or put in a casket in the ground, it's going to happen. And on the last day, Jesus will take that dust and ash and, and resurrect it, and it will be a glorified body. So why would we be opposed to cremation? Most of the time, it's because of a relation to like pagan religions of old. You know, like the Viking funerals, but I've never seen that. I've never had anyone say, hey, pastor, can we go to the lake and have a boat? And we put grandpa on it and little, little Timmy, not Jimmy. He was the one freaked out with the casket, but little Timmy's been practicing his archery. And he's really good at hitting the fiery air in there. No, that's not what happens, right? That doesn't happen. Here. Well, maybe it happens like Iceland or something. I don't know, but not here in America. The thing is, that's not why we're opposed to it. In fact, we're not opposed to cremation because when you cremate the bodies, the same thing is in the doing it another route. You bury them in the ground. You put them in a sacred spot to await the day of the resurrection. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In the sure and certain hope of the day of the resurrection. That's what we say at the committal. So we who believe in the resurrection of the body are not conflicting with that when we hold to cremation. In fact, you could even say the way we do burials nowadays is opposing it even more because we're clinging to the fallen body rather than trusting and, and rejoicing in the glorified body that is to come. So God bless y'all. I hope that helped a little bit, get, you, get the wheels turning in there, thinking of little Jimmy and Timmy and all that fun stuff. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. I'm more content from higher